So currently we've got our platform scene and our first level. Now it's time to start working on our character. Now there's two different approaches we can take when adding characters. We can add a third person camera, so we're viewing the player from behind, or a first person camera, so we're viewing from the eyes of the player. In this video, we're going to be focusing on a first person camera perspective. So first thing we need to do is go to scene, create a new scene. We go down to other nodes and we'll look at something called a kinematic body. Hit create. And first thing you do when you create any new node is rename the root node. Now the root node is the node on the very top. I'm going to call this player. Now we get an error message to say we have no collision for this player, so we need to fix that. So we're going to right click, add a child node, and we're going to create a new collision shape. Now the shape we're going for this time is called a capsule. So we're going to click, uh, click on the capsule option, and then we need to do some transforming. So first of all, in the X direction, we're going to rotate by 90. Secondly, in the Z direction, we're going to scale by 1.2. Just give our character that little bit of extra height, and you can adjust this yourself. Play around with what height and how wide you want the body to be. Next, we're going to go across, and we're actually going to add a mesh to our collision shape so we can see it as the players. So we're going to right-click. I'm going to add a child node, and I'm looking for a mesh instance. Set this up also as a capsule, and because we've done the collision shape already, it will match the same shape. Now, finally, we need to add our camera. Now, we can't just add a camera on its own. What we need to do is add a way for that camera to rotate and spin when we're looking around. So first thing we're going to do is add a new spatial 3D node. So spatial, we want the one in orange, not the one in blue. That's the 2D one. Double click, we can add our spatial node. Now what we're going to do with this spatial node is we're going to move it so it's near the top of the heads. And this way when we add the camera, it will add the camera to the correct place. So add a new child node. We're looking for a camera. Click on the camera. We can click on preview. And you can see that you can't really see anything because we're actually looking from the eyes of the player. We could shuffle this back a little bit and you might be able to see a little bit of the player if it had a hand sticking out or so. But Play around with it till you're happy with it, and then we need to save it. So we're going to do scene, save scene. Now I've already got a player one from the third person camera story, so I'm just going to name this player one. But for yours, I recommend just keeping it as player. So save, and we're going to go to level one, and we're going to use this button here to bring in our player into our level, like so. Now you'll see our player is actually really, really big at the moment so if i look at that now really big compared to our platforms we can make our platforms bigger or what we can do is we can take our player we can transform it i'm going to set the scale to about 0.2 so it's a fifth of the size we do this for all directions like so and then we're just going to lift it up so it's now about the right size finally and i forgot to change this back when i was doing this tutorial but you might still have your camera here that we set up from the beginning. This can disappear now, so you can right click on that camera and get rid of it, because our player has now got the camera instead. Once you've done all that, we can hit play, and now we should be looking from the eyes of our player. Next video, we'll start looking at adding some movement to our player.